Another horror story has emerged from the state's health system. An elderly man is fighting for his life after being shifted from hospital to hospital. He had abdominal pain and blood clots and family members say concerns his condition was linked to a COVID-19 vaccination were ignored. Authorities have stressed blood clots from the vaccine are extremely rare and say it's highly unlikely there is any link in this case. Patrick Martin has the story. A family facing the unimaginable. He told me, don't, don't bother coming into the hospital. It's not worth the drive. And I said, Dad, I'm coming. I drive three hours just to listen to you talk crap. And now we can't talk anymore. 74-year-old Clive Haddon went to Modbury Hospital last Thursday after waking up in a pool of blood. He'd passed a significant amount of blood and blood clots and was suffering extreme abdominal pain. Diagnosed with a urinary tract infection, Mr Haddon was given an antibiotic and sent home. Suffered through the whole next day because he's one tough person and it wasn't until Saturday morning that he thought I'd better go back because this, this is not right. He returned to Modbury Hospital by ambulance, but his family says before he was tested or given pain medication, he was transferred to the Lyle McEwen, where he waited hours before being operated on. Shortly after that, there was a nurse changeover and he had a stroke. I really don't know how long he was lying in that bed for before the next nurse on shift found him. Three hours later, he was taken to the Royal Adelaide Hospital. Family members say they told staff at all three hospitals Mr Haddon had received an AstraZeneca vaccination, but their concerns were dismissed. It should have been picked up straight away when somebody goes to emergency with blood clots. In a statement, Chief Medical Officer Dr Michael Cusack says national experts have reviewed Mr Haddon's case and determined it's highly unlikely the blood clots are linked to the AstraZeneca vaccine. A report has also been made to the Therapeutic Goods Administration. The opposition wants an investigation into Mr Haddon's care. We need to be on high alert uh, to make sure that patients who are attending emergency departments are getting urgent care uh, if there are blood clots uh, or suspic suspicions of that occurring. Um, clearly, that didn't happen in this case. As a family grieves for their father, husband, grandfather and friend. Patrick Martin, ABC News, Adelaide.